Guys, a few years ago, CRKT released a knife that a lot of people have said is one of the best thin gentlemen's carry knives. It's the CEO, but I don't like CRKT knives. So I found you five options that you could carry in lieu of a crappy CRKT CEO. So let's turn this around and look at these five awesome knives from above. All right, guys, like I said in the intro, the CRKT CEO is not my choice for a good knife. I don't like it, but I've picked out five knives that I think are actually better. Um, they are in varying price points. We're going to start with this little guy right here, and it's the Vosteed Mini Labrador. This is a great, great little mini knife. Uh, this one is in titanium. 14C 28N. It's in a frame lock. It's got a really well done coating on it that has held up really well. And the reason I recommend this, this, this is a very nice and thin small knife under six and a half inches coming in really light, but it also carries really well, but you don't give up a lot on cutting. You've got a lot of cutting surface on this blade. It's ground really nicely down behind the edge. All the Vosti knives come incredibly sharp. The edge has held up pretty well on this one. I have had only to do any little bit of stropping on this. The frame lock on it, you've got really, really good access. Good flipper on this. The in-hand feel, even though this is just at about a three inch grip for me, it doesn't feel like it's too small. It doesn't feel out of sorts. Really nicely done milled pocket clip on this. And the fact that it's so small means it's nice and light. This is a good watch pocket or fifth pocket knife. And all the Vosteed mini knives have been really, really good. Now, this one is a little loose, so you can see that it's off center. I had it apart and uh, I did not relock tight the blade. So if you saw that, that is 100% me. This thing came rock solid and uh, dead center when I first got it. Uh, you've got... A little nice little backspacer on this and the fact that you've got a lanyard hole even though i'm not a fan of lanyard holes you got a nice little spot for a lanyard that you can throw on it and that way you can throw it in your pocket and you have a little bit of extra grip sometimes these knives that are shorter throwing a lanyard on it just makes it feel like a bigger knife and like i said action on it really really good this has spent a lot of time in my pocket since it showed up big shout out to vosti for sending it along let's go ahead and move on to the next knife so if I had to pick one of these knives out of the bunch to say it was my favorite of these, it's got to be this Ocaso Solstice. Now, this is a Demco design. I just filmed the final review of this knife, but I thought it would be cool to do this video while it was still here. This is a very slender, very thin knife with a nice long blade that comes down to a very piercing point. You've got a nice edge on this. It's not real thin behind the edge because of how thick the blade stock is, but they did a good job mitigating that by bringing the angle back on this. And this is very sharp. If you're looking for a nice little thin knife that'll fit down inside the pocket on like a, on a dress shirt where a pin would go, you could put this in there. I don't think this is something that people would find offensive and it's nice and light, easy to carry. This thing fits really well in a pair of shorts very deep carry pocket clip on this that is reversible it's got this nice across the back pocket clip with a lot of times i'm not a fan of but it's definitely on there solid only held in place by one screw but it's all milled out and this sits really really deep and then it just has got a really good feel in hand it does not give up anything it is in a liner lock but you've got really good access very very good access to that good jimping on that and in hand it just drops into your hand for as thin as it is it drops in your hand really comfortably and i don't know why i, I think it has it has to have something to do with the way this contours up and the way it thickens up but it feels like a much larger knife in hand and if you're looking for something that you could use to let the air out of something or someone as just a second extra little piece of kit for a defensive measure this blade would do it it is definitely an aggressive blade and the big one is on a light knife like this with a light blade that is some super smooth action on that nice great little knife the Ocaso solstice designed by demco designs now this next knife should come as no surprise this this has been bouncing around on the channel forever this is the cjrb ria great little gentleman's knife 
micarta, the liner lock, uh, line, I'm sorry, liner lock with beautifully done liners, the micarta on this, some of the best micarta you're going to find on a budget knife. This has the aftermarket pocket clip on it, which just adds a bit to it. Good bit of weight reduction done in there. The action on this knife is just insanely snappy. It's just, it almost is like it's on springs. And then you've got this awesome shaped blade here that's, it's akin to um, like a scalpel blade. And when it's in hand, it has got such a comfortable feel in hand that it outperforms a lot of larger knives. This is a knife that finds its way into my pocket so often, even though it's been here for a very long time. Absolutely love this knife. This was the first knife I ever got an ARRPM9 steel. And I know there's been some co controversy around that steel lately, but it's still a really good steel. Very rust resistant, pretty resilient, easy to sharpen. It holds an edge fairly well and it straps back up so well. The micarta on this was a beautiful choice because it is a smaller knife and it gives you really good grip, but it doesn't seem to give up anything you know, on a smaller knife, sometimes they feel a little small. This just does not feel like you are lacking in anything for the knife. Thumb stud is nested down into that scale like that. And you can see you just hit the top of it and it flies open. It's a single sided thumb stud. Downside of this, this is not an ambidextrous knife. And then you've just got just such a great knife. This thing is a knife that I carry when I'm going out somewhere. Uh, and I know I need a knife that I can stick in a pair of slacks and things like that that's not going to be over the top, but it's also going to be attractive. It's almost complementary to a lot of suits and slacks that I have here at the house. So there you go. The CJRB Rhea. Absolutely recommend this one. Let's move on to the next knife. It's this Rosecraft Blades Yoka. Uh, this thing is a knife that I forget I have sometimes, and then when I do get it out, I just absolutely love it. This one is... I believe this one's in D2. I can't remember off the top of my head, but Rosecraft just has been killing it with some of their knives. This is a nice, thin little liner lock, like some of the others we've seen. Deep carry pocket clip on this. Flipper action, and then it's got a drop point blade, a little bit of belly at the front, and a lot of flat. And for as narrow as this blade is, they did a very good job with the behind the edge thickness on this. It's not super thick stock, but it's definitely thinner behind the edge than some of the others. The striking looks on this with the red and black. Rosecraft does this red and black G10 combo really well. They do a great job of it. Liner lock, you've got fairly decent access. And then the way this cuts for a thin knife like this, I was very, very surprised. It tore through so much cardboard and all I had to do was strop it back up at the end. It's still got the factory edge on it. This is another light knife, like the first one we saw, that would fit down inside a pocket. This one does have a reversible pocket clip. So you're looking at a lot of bells and whistles on a knife that's under $60. So I, have, I had thought about giving this knife away, and I just absolutely love it. The nice square handles on this are a good look. And with that flipper tab sticking up, you have just a really secure feel in this. It just that finger guard feel that you get from the flipper tab and the flipper action on it is great. The action on it in general, it's just shake shut home. Awesome, awesome knife. And then if you want to put a lanyard on it, you got a big lanyard hole on this back corner. The Rosecraft blades have really just killed it for me. They, I'm, they are killing it in my opinion, I should say. Just a awesome looking all around knife that's still going to get you where you want to go for a nice little gentleman's knife. So let's go ahead and move on to this last knife. And it's this Remet Tonto folder. Oh, sorry, I missed the flipper tab. That's not the nice fault. That was me. This thing has surprised me so much. All the Remet knives, regardless of the price point, have really impressed me. This is a nicely done thin D2 blade that's been uh, PBD coated. It's done in a Tonto format. Not my favorite, but it works on this knife. Nice contoured and textured G10 handles. Deep carry pocket clip on this. It's not reversible, but this is a good feeling knife. It's nice and thick across here to account for the thinness here. And the action on this is insanely good for such a cheap knife. I think these are $30, if I remember right. Um, the Remet store on Amazon has all of their offerings. And for a cheap knife, this really 
hits a lot of wickets. D2 blade, it's not a bad steel. It's going to hold up pretty well. The fact that they coated it means that it's not going to rust anywhere near as easily. And all of these Remet knives have come really sharp, very sharp from the factory and surprisingly smooth with no blade play. A lot of times you get these cheaper knives and there's some blade play in them or they start to get their own blade play, you know, develop blade play over time. No blade play on this. I will say I don't think that this runs on ceramic bearings because those are those look like steel bearings. So that might be something if you're going to be someplace where maybe those bearings might rust. I've never seen steel bearings rust, but it could be a possibility. But yeah, the Remet stuff is absolutely just awesome at the price point. Uh, I can't thank them enough for having sent this. This actually gets a good bit of pocket time for such a cheap knife. Yeah, it reminds me a lot the CRKT crossbones as well with the patterning on this. Yet another CRKT that this knife is better than. So guys, that's it on this one. Let's turn us around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. That, yeah, guys, like I said, I, I just don't like CRKT. And I think out of all of the ones that I showed, I think this Ocaso Solstice is my favorite. I can't remember if I said it in the body of the video. This thing is great. It's the priciest of the options that we saw today, but it's still a really, really good knife. So guys, there you go. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. 80% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. It helps the channel if you just like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Make sure you've got notifications set to all. Ton of affiliate links down below. You can use them to pick up knives and things like that. There's an Amazon store down there. All of those support the channel directly. They don't cost you anything at checkout. And as a matter of fact, I have a couple of links down below. I have discounts built in, Coffee Brand Coffee, some of the best coffee you're going to find, Tempered Trail, Hand Stitched Wallets, some of the best laces you're ever going to find. Those have 10% off built into their links. Speaking of 10% off, coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase, saves you 10% at Farron Forge Knife Works, Katsu Blades, and a Rose Craft Blades. I'm sorry, Katsu Knives. Guys, I have a membership down below. Check that out. See if you want to join and get in on that and join the Discord down below says join the community. That's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section for your birthday. Happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video.